bow, bow, bow. Bitch, I'm busting at him. Yeah, bitch, I'm busting on him. <laughs> busting on him. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, I'm busting at him. I don't know if that's what we want. Yeah, yeah buddy. What it is, dude. We ready this week, dude. We can take the... <laughs> last week was or la- whatever the last recording we were experimenting with something new and we were experimenting it was with gu- the cia was experimenting on us and we yeah, were the we new were MK, um, ultra stuff. mk ultra yeah we, we were totally with it we were testing um barbiturates and barbiturates <laughs> whatever <laughs> barbasol or you know <laughs> you know what i'm saying no, i don't know and what you're uh <laughs> The government won us zero. I, I, mean, I know that's right. We lost. They're trying boy. to shut us down. We lost, we're we're out here telling the truth. We're out here truth telling. Yeah. Speaking Tru- of truth, what do you think about this big uh, eclipse situation, dude? <laughs> do you think the eclipse is a stupid conspiracy? <laughs> dude, we just have like, eclipse. Oh, like, make sure you get toilet paper and uh, that's the, 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 the. Have you seen it? Wait, wait. People are freaking out because they think the mm-hmm. eclipse is going to like ruin the world. That makes me think that maybe I'm just in a weird. Uh, you might be in a weird friend group, dude. Not even a fr- like, no, no, it's not friend group, but like a weird acquaintance algorithm uh, or okay. a real. Oh, weird... so you're talking about you see this online? Yeah, yeah. Like maybe I'm online too much. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're fine. You probably, dude. There's like a big deal. It's like the people are saying it's the, uh, it's the sign of the uh, apocalypse from Jesus. People are saying it's, uh, um, like there's going to be no fuel because of no, an eclipse. Because so many people are going to see. What's happening is so many people are traveling to see it, but like, which I don't understand. Is it like five seconds? No, it's like three minutes. <laughs> Either way, darkness. <laughs> it's three minutes. Either of darkness. way, I believe you can just watch it online. I, I'm not too concerned, but like schools are closed and everything. I did see that. That's kind but of. But I guess because people are going to be just parked everywhere, like hundreds and thousands of people are going to, because it's only this area up into Canada. So this stretch. Okay, hold on. Have we not had an eclipse in? There's been multiple. That's what many, I'm saying. Many, so what's many going many on? Have we, People just like want to look at. That's what I'm saying. That's what. Just to say they be there, but they were there. You can't even look directly at it. You got to get some glasses or something, don't you? Except unless you're Donald Trump. <laughs> oh shit, dude! <laughs> 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 you guys can't see this right now, but there is a what s- the strip heck? male strip dude thing going on is. <laughs> <laughs> that when he was he was driving <laughs> with the <laughs> he was driving with the, David Dude, tells in the back seat the, with the with the and I thought it was a real in. cop up front. They <laughs> should just cut to this. I'm like, oh shit, what the fuck? They're trying to come in so much, like they're all trying to like um, fight to get in there. <laughs> just to get a piece. That, dude, that dude's being objectified. <laughs> He's being objectified. Male strippers, honestly, do they feel? Uh, do male strippers feel the same way? Uh, uh, you know, like uh, I don't know what you call it. Uh, like a uh, world woman, like a woman stripper does. Yeah. Like just like feel like shit. <laughs> <laughs> that dude does not. Dude, I wish I could show this. Hey, <laughs> thanks. Yeah. Oh, impressive. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a house on down the street. It's like a normal, normal somebody's normal house. I was just leaving. Uh, I don't need my cop uniform anymore. <laughs> I, just got, I brought extra clothes. Oh shit. <laughs> Did somebody I was watching a podcast the other day and somebody said that uh like <laughs> when you're like a guy and you're like you're a child and you're blonde, like it's like kinda cute, whatever. But when you're like an adult and you're blonde, <laughs> it's you're fucking like weird looking. <laughs> you're like a douchebag. <laughs> like blonde male adult males is very definitely weird looking. <laughs> that is weird. Yeah. That is weird. <laughs> it's only dudes too. Like mm-hmm. women are fine, but it, that is weird. Yeah. Wait a second. It just looks creepy. Like so did he do this all this in the same night? Like he just, <laughs> yeah, he just, just left that strip, just getting stripper. Fucked up, and then he goes to oh, the Coast Guard. Did he um, bring the stripper with him? Sorry, I, keep, I got distracted. That was just weird. We shouldn't be watching shit, should we? Because we do get distracted. Yeah. We can't even show it. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, we, could, we could just describe it. People <laughs> on the Spotify it. people are loving this right now. <laughs> <laughs> describe it in great detail. <laughs> um, they know what's going what on. What was I talking about? Um, I can't remember now, dude. Oh, um, shit. Oh, you're talking about the eclipse. Okay, sorry. Oh yeah, that eclipse. Um, yeah, I think it's a much, uh, much to do about nothing. That's a good phrase, dude. <laughs> I just <laughs> thought of that. And it felt good when it came out, dude. It felt right. That's a good phrase. Ooh. You don't hear that too often in life, like much to do about nothing. Dude. <laughs> Ooh, man, go to like a tractor supply or something. You're getting some dog food, and they're like, "Hey, how you doing, Bill?" I'm much do about nothing. <laughs> I don't know if that's I don't know the time I use it. <laughs> it, took a, it took yeah, it you used it right the first time, and then now it just—it's yeah, all right. <laughs> you 
try. It's cool. Uh, the first time was we'll do one for two. It's not bad. Yeah, I don't understand. I don't even. Know you didn't even know if you, the fact that you didn't know anything really about it. I mean, I know there's an tells eclipse coming. me that it's just the internet. Yeah. So, that, I'm good. Should I be buying toilet paper? No, I think you'll be fine. I think it's just like last time. Remember uh, COVID? I remember during. You COVID, think the clips is like COVID? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Start spewing all these. This is how COVID out started. On you. Um, <laughs> I remember during COVID when it first started because we bought this house right at the beginning before like lockdown right and my uh father-in-law brought us toilet paper and um water it was like you guys will need this i was like dude this shit will you know just pass. like a, just a, this, this one bottle of water and, and then they like closed down everything <laughs> like they closed down like i was like oh this will be done in a week dude it was like what was it months uh, i don't know how long was shit close i i, I worked mean, we had to work the whole time so that was yeah so i never we, was off yeah we had to work the whole I time i was always too. on we were way. essential I was a I COVID. That's gotta be like a slap in the face of you, like work a job, and they're like, "You're not essential. You get to stay home." <laughs> yeah, like well, you're a true bitch. Like, yeah. you know, take <laughs> you, your we don't need your job. Like, people were working world. at McDonald's and shit, and you couldn't come to work, yeah. bitch ass. No, I had yeah. to get my ass to work. I took my grind. Ass to don't work, stop, dude. I was baby. grinding, dude. I was waking up, rising, and grinding, and not wearing my mask. Dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I pulled mine down. Like we had to wear them, and I was very defiant. Fucking like rebel, I baby. Mine down at least nose length, sometimes full mouth. Sometimes full mouth. <laughs> Sometimes full mouth length. No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> Fucking rebel, dude. That's what I'm talking about. So we need in this world. You know who was a rebel? This dude who, uh, the financier of when you're buying a car, the dude who does the finan- finances. Oh, yeah. This dude today at this oh, dealership this was a true rebel. Oh, uh, yeah. Chrysler minivan. Very nice. Hybrid. 2021. No big deal. Yeah, no love big love deal. How many miles on it? Uh, 2021. 60? 60. Only 60 miles. Like, period? 60,000. Okay. 60,000. Yeah, 60,000. Wow. <laughs> Dude. Hey, hey. Hey. Um, so you got, you ordered, is, did you, the charger already come? I ordered a, uh, it's just a, like one piece. You just put slide on top, like an adapter. Oh, gotcha. It comes with a charger, but the charger it comes with is like your standard wall plug. And that takes 14 hours to where the plug I had installed, uh, the Tesla charger, takes two hours so can it still use the tesla charger it can't once i get that adapter you just put it right on top and then i can charge that too with mm-hmm. the same so that's all i'm waiting on but like all like the tesla comes with them say you're staying somewhere yeah overnight and you're, there's not a charger in the area to get you back home you would just say hey plug can i in. plug this in your garage or plug this outside somewhere yeah. and so i have one in my trunk and then that car will ha- the van will have one right dude i'm the king of evs bro call me tv because i'm the king of ev <laughs> what dude? That was killing pretty, me dude dang my bad dude i was trying to Chuckle figure out EVs. big laughs eb stands for ev ev electric vehicle oh, okay gotcha Ooh. well but it's a hybrid though so does it still use a little I'm bit of lord gas Raiden. i'm like lord raiden dude i would strike you down with electricity because <laughs> i'm <laughs> I electric EV, i'm driving around with these electric all the electrodes <laughs> going into me would so okay the hybrid though does it still it can still run on gas though right yeah it don't, yeah it oh, runs okay. on gas it, it's I've still I've been researching it and from what I gather it uh it's mainly gas but you're stopping and going the ignition like when you start it you don't hear it start. Right. So I'm guessing the startup is all from the battery cuz it's only like 32 miles worth of battery power compared to you know your standard it still says the fuel mileage is like 300 400. Yeah. But it's like separate it's like battery mileage fuel mileage and the battery does stuff like it'll run the air conditioner right while the gas it, it saves on it's like the, one of those ones that like when you're braked at a red light it'll like char- it's like charging like when you slow down yeah it has a but i mean the tesla has that way stronger than like the ev you still have to use your brakes but right. not as hard where the, the te- tesla you don't have to use your brake at all you gotta wait for a tesla to get in the minivan business dude i tried to get it honestly i tried to finesse this situation into another tesla boy yeah. And I, but I could not. I tried. She Wait, did not what, break. What did she wanted need? the van, and rightfully so. Children, space. Yeah, because like got, we can't take Antoine's like big a... ass anywhere. <laughs> like, he's too large. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen a sixteen-year-old in the middle of a seat in the Tesla in the back? <laughs> it's not pretty. <laughs> in between two car seats, not pretty. Well, if he could just walk. <laughs> so we'll, he could walk thir- drive, sixty miles. Drive himself into a tree, in the, that in another tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, he. I wouldn't have him drive all the way to like like if we we're all going to Lima, he could just ride with. It. Anyway, yeah. so this guy, the finance uh, guy, 
comes in. So you get the car from the dealer. Then they give you the finance. Who goes through all the paperwork? And we're sitting there, and this dude's just cussing up a fucking this. He's like talking about basketball. He's like, dude, did you see Kentucky get their ass whooped last night? Hell yeah. <laughs> and then I told him, what I say? I was like, I said something about um, uh, Aaron was like, you need to make sure you call and tell him you're going to the Quesanera or whatever. He's like, oh, you're going to the Quesanera? And I was like, yeah. He's like, dude, I love Modelo's and I'd love to be dancing, dog. He's like, dude, that sounds like a great time. He's like, dude, I chug Modelo's out of Quesanera. And I was like, that's super racist, but I yeah. like that dude. Dude, he cussed the, like afterwards, I was like, dude, that dude cussed the, like he was just like, shit, fuck this. He was talking to me. He's like, uh, where are you from? I, was, I said, uh, Lima. He said, yeah, my favorite team's Michigan. You know, Xavier Simpson, he played for Lima Senior uh-huh. when I worked at the news. And I was like, yeah, we did stories on him and him and his dad's stuff. And he's like, oh, he's a fucking beast. Hell yeah. <laughs> dude, he, this dude was. <laughs> and then he's like, yeah, my wife and my kids tonight are going to like some stupid ass play or something. I'm going to my boy's house and getting trashed. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> dude, I was like, should we be buying this? Yeah, I don't know. He's, he's it, like, and it was like a real deal, like a huge dealership. Yeah. Like a, a normal big dealer. But. <laughs> I mean, we didn't get no lemon, and we could sign up for the lemon law, dude. That is, uh, and you get your tax. You get like a four thousand dollar tax break now, tax for uh, electric back. cars. But only I not think the Tesla. The only certain ones have mm-hmm. te- companies that have tax does. breaks left. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy, yeah. dude. That's like weird that they. Like, Biden started that, didn't he? Old Sleepy Joe. Old Sleepy Joe. I think he well, did. My neighbor know. down the street has their flag upside down, dude. That's a little alarming. Their American, American flag, flag hung up upside down outside their house. Damn, that's intense, dude. I was like, ooh. ooh people, that, people that make statements of flags are real weird. <laughs> right, like when people are trying to like, what the fuck? Just she don't hang it up. <laughs> she definitely posted it on Facebook, too. Like, oh, oh. Until I was, you know, it's a freedom. Biden. It's a Biden. Yeah. Yeah. What's he really do? I mean, he's a you know old man, but yeah. what are any of them doing? Yeah, no I've come shit. to that conclusion. I learned that conclusion when I learned that my job – the job we work, the job we work in, and the job the people we do the service for all are owned by the same company. I found that out. Yeah, which is Warren Buffett's company. They're all into that same umbrella. So the money we're getting paid to do the job, the money we're taking, the money, it's all just in the same company. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's just one big company. I was like, I don't give a fucking flying fuck, dude. Yeah. I just figured it out. Yeah, we we shouldn't get into politics. <laughs> you say what? We shouldn't get into politics, you know. It's our viewers don't come for that. Are you a fucking coward or what, dude? I'm not. A oh yeah, you. My bad, dude. I would. I would, what was the, what the dude saying to get out? I vote for Obama three times if I could. I wouldn't <laughs> vote for him, dude. I, I mean, I don't. Uh, I stopped voting. I just don't care anymore. Yeah, I don't vote. It doesn't matter. I don't vote. Nothing's yeah. ever changed drastically for me enough to one way or another to vote. What was that one? Uh, um. It was a Kevin Costner movie, Swing Vote or whatever, where he like there was like a complete tie in the election. He had he had one vote to the one he has. This is the one vote like to like change. Did everything. he change? What did he change? I didn't watch the whole thing, but I was I'm still kind of confused what it's about because like how would like they know who didn't vote? Like a lot of people that are registered to vote don't vote. I don't understand the concept of that movie. We should probably watch it. Yeah, dude, you just blo- <laughs> fucking confused the <laughs> shit out of me, bro. Hold on. So okay, Kevin so there's Coster a movie called Swing Vote. The know if whole it's... nation is voting. It might not be Kevin Costner. Whoever it is. Oh, have you? Um, there's a movie with Roddy Piper. Uh, they Live? Or have they, you seen that? They, they Live. They Live, yeah. Hell yeah, I've seen that movie. Wild. He was a good actor. Yeah, that fight scene, dude. Oh, he's a, oh with him and... Uh, was it... Um, Car, was it Carl Weathers? Was it? I think it... Oh, man, are we getting our black dudes confused? <laughs> Seriously, that could be bad because I think it was... No, it was... Uh, was it? Danny, not Danny Lowe. Danny DeVito. I gotta look this shit up, dude. It's gonna... Yeah, figure that out. Carl Withers. <laughs> Carl Withers. Come here and make a stew. That'd make a great stew. Oh, uh, no. It was Keith David, the dude from... Oh. Uh, oh. He was in... Bad uh, Santa. Yeah, and... Uh, Martin. Yeah. No. Uh, how think... you doing? Huh? ATL. He was in ATL with TI. No. No, that wasn't him. <laughs> just you know, just every, uh, every guy, every, I'm thinking every all the old black dudes I know. <laughs> all the, uh, Denzel Washington. Uh, oh, I, that's what I knew him from. Was uh, that you ever seen Requiem for a Dream? Yeah. When he's like that black dude who's like super rich, and she goes over to his house to get drugs, and he's just like, I haven't seen it. No, I haven't. Who gets the drugs? The young lady or yeah. the old lady? 
the, well, Juice by Larry. Everybody, Juice by Larry. Yeah, everybody in that movie's getting drugs. But. Everybody's <laughs> getting twisted and zapped in that movie. Everybody's dude. fucking dark, dude. Like, not one happy It wasn't that dark to me, man. All right. Like, it was wild, but it was like, oh, yeah, it could be worse. Maybe. All right. nah, that was pretty bad. I just always remember the end. Ass to ass. Ass to ass. Ass to ass. You see me in the background, like, ass to stealing beers. I'm putting beers in my pocket. Ass to ass. I'm trying to watch this shit, but I do. Yeah. I'm free. I'll watch both. <laughs> Both. Dude, I this, uh, so I, yeah. I had to go to a. I, was, I told you I was in Orlando, and we went to this. You was in the O, the O, O block. Which I don't understand why anybody would want to go to Orlando if you're not going it's to Disney World because place, like it's there's no beach there. You're in the it middle of Florida. A horrible place. You're I've in, been there. I've been there twice. I think it was yeah. bad. We went. Me and my wife went to Universal twice. Studios, but uh, was this a family vacation? No, it was for a conference, like a work conference. I'm not going to say the name of the organization, like, but like. It was a bunch of old, rich white men, and dude, they look like the kind of guys that would be the at the ass to ass party, like, Ooh, yeah, dude, yeah, just, Diddy's party, just some real sleazy, yeah. like, <laughs> billionaires. Are we talking billions or millions? Probably, eh, I'm, Million? I'm gonna say like close to billionaires. Some of them, really, because some of these like construction companies, yeah, oh, yeah. Shit, I shouldn't say that, but, <laughs> but, uh, dude, there's a zillion construction companies. Yeah, some of these companies got like, they may probably do over a billion a year for sure, like. Yeah, a lot of them do. Yeah. Like quite. I'm. I mean, there's one around here that a friend of mine used to work for. That's. There's probably two and two or three in this small town that are huge. Yeah. M- million millionaires, if not closer. Right. Right. I mean, in the business, I don't know if that's. I don't know if uh, like super rich people like are, that are owners of their own companies are if their business is rich or if they're rich. Right. Because I know a lot of them are smart with mo- so smart that most of their money is just in their business, so they yeah. don't lose or it's all through the oh that's how all like billionaires are dude it's like they don't get any salary just all like they're like like, like, they're just like oh no i just have a bunch of credit and money so yeah yeah that's how they because that's how they avoid the taxes dude dude. i try i I try to tell my wife that a million times like most of the time this show is just so so much sex dude yeah this used to come on comedy central i know (laughs) real late night dirty right Um, right before the girls gone wild commercials yeah during them during they'd pop up in the middle and then you'd yeah. just be too you'd be too heated you'd be like oh my god overload <laughs> I'm overloaded um yeah i try to say like that's mainly they're just i don't know yeah they just milk this f- figure out how to they ballin bro they ballin they ballin ballin for show yeah um but well, you went to universal studios and uh let me tell you something okay have you ever been to universal studios long time ago yeah same i was like 11 i think when i went yeah the first time but they really fell off dude like first of all it's expensive as fuck but you pay for the ticket to get in there and they're already tr- as soon as you get in they're trying to sell you like the fast passes and all that shit and like just skip the lines blah blah but then you, every single place you go to like you have to pay for stuff like the games the the there's merchandise everywhere there's fucking like some of the rides you got to pay for like so in comparison to say cedar point you you can't just buy the ticket get in there and just ride around i mean you're going to individual little community german town and chinatown no well so now there's like three different parks and you have to you can buy like two parks at once but it's like 250 bucks for just the ticket to get in yeah okay yeah. let's do this math yeah, just the ticket to get in two fifty. But like the rides are all now like you know like I don't know if you ever rode any of the rides back in the day, but like so the King Kong ride used to it be. It was like eleven. The yeah. King Kong ride stuck with me. Okay, remember, remember. it was like a, you were going through a city and like King Kong was like a comes out and just like yeah animatronic shit, like, like thing yeah. like but but now all you're doing you're taking a little uh, bus thing and there's screens on the side of the wall and just it's like CGI the movie, yeah the it's movie. like I'm just like you're at a movie theater. This is some bullshit. Do you dude. remember the Twister? Yeah, like oh the yeah, storm. yeah. Oh, dude, I thought I was so scared. Uh, but like, oh boy, that's the kind of shit I thought I was going to see at Universal. Not fucking everything's a CGI screen. I'll just go to the fucking theater to do that or watch that or go watch Bro, it at home. Oh man, I'm like my blood's pumping. Yeah, right. <laughs> dude, you're getting me fired up. <laughs> Two hundred fifty bucks for this shit. We're being, dude. We're being ran through the mill. Yeah, we yeah. are. We really are. No, I think the one thing they food. Got, what was food? Oh. Forget about it. So we, about we like split uh, this like foot long coney dog. Okay. <laughs> Did you guys eat it like this, like together? No, <laughs> okay, no, okay. we ripped it in half. But yeah, all right. so ripped it. In half. <laughs> <laughs> You're having it out. But but so the bun was a foot long. <laughs> the 
hot dog itself was like smaller. It was like a half the size of the bun. And it was like this fucking thin, dude. Like it was tiny. Bro. And then oh, the, it's gonna get worse, bro. It's the, gonna get only fucking worse. It's, it, it's just it was like twelve bucks. This and, is the podcast I've been wanting to have. And for then the uh, while. the chili was like cut up peppers and like full ass beans. Like I almost, <laughs> <hit these cups. laughs> I almost fucking smacked this shit. I was like, what the fuck is this shit, like, dude? Yo, slide over. <laughs> You're going off camera. That's my head, dude. I'm getting real upset right now, <laughs> dude. So, so how much? So you say two fifty, and then for your for your split cone, <laughs> yeah, for your lady, it's like twelve dollars, dude, for the whole. So split the cone coney, is. no drinks, no. You just drinking water. We got uh, so we got we, we got beers, but Let's those were like fourteen bucks a piece, and so then two beers. We're looking at uh, twenty eight. Accounting my accounting firm over here, um, and then uh, Jesus. Yeah, no, I'm trying to get this plan this out for the every the American family, the blue collar person who's taking their family to Disneyland. And then, uh, like later in the day, I got like a churro that was like hard and <laughs> it was like the 12, subway churro. Twelve dollars. My dude. boy got the subway tr- churro <laughs> for the twenty. <laughs> yeah, it was rough, man. It was so. I mean, just off of this, and this isn't. There's probably way more involved here. We're looking at three hundred, three almost four hundred, two people. Well, and you guys were being modest. Well, that's two fifty a person is the tickets. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you meant two fifty. No, no, oh, two, two tickets dog. after taxes like five fifty. I was like, we need to go on vacation here and there. I'm like, just stay home. Like, let's spend some money on some something back there. We can build something. You could something. rent a bouncy house for half that Bruh, for one day because that's all they give yeah. a fuck. Or a gonna, fucking somebody they're, dress up like King they're, Kong. <laughs> they're never gonna remember. Like, they're, no. they're gonna be just as. I've never in my life been like, damn it. My parents hate my guts. We didn't go to Disney World. Like, Maybe Disney World's better. I don't know. We didn't go to Disney. We just went to the Harry Potter no. part was kind of cool. Like my, that's my probably wife, the newest part though. Yeah. That's probably what they're adding on. They're, my wife loves Harry Potter, but like then you go in there, you're fucking there's every 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 shop that's supposed to be like in Harry Potter World is a goddamn souvenir shop. That's how um the zoo uh the Toledo Zoo. Yeah. I one I know I don't agree with going to zoo. I hate zoos, but I'll go because yeah. the kids like to go for the uh, Christmas lights. Yeah. Which they're nice, cool, whatever. But uh, the dude, it's just a big sale. Yeah, I mean, all every amusement park and theme park and zoos like that's, that now. I mean, that's capitalism, dude. Yeah, it's just the prices are so fucking ridiculous. Yeah, dude, it's you could basically like sell your whole soldiers to go to any theme park now. I follow the uh, um, inflation subreddit. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, dude, they put on the McDon. They use the McDonald's menu mostly because that was high school a dollar. For a double cheeseburger mm. now, a double cheeseburger is a meal, you know, uh, eight or nine, you know, seven or eight bucks. Oh, you want to get the fast food, bro? <laughs> get it. I, I don't eat it. I won't go. I um, go ahead. Let me beer up real quick. Then we're gonna get into some okay. some, some financial inflation. Go. Fast food, man. What? Back with the double left. Like I don't we never know left. Where we went wrong as a country, but well, the thing is, we became we became so far in debt. That we, I'm gonna keep talking and move around like I'm a rock star, like I'm Skrillex, because I gotta go. I'm gonna grab this thing to unpause. Skill Rex. I was um, is it Skrillex or Skill Rex? I think it's Skrillex, but I was uh, looking at the episode this is so I can rip it and try to put it on there and maybe blur some of it out because uh-huh. it was too good to, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, it was. I just rewatched some of it. It was too good. It needed to be seen. <laughs> it to be seen. <laughs> so I got the episode. Uh-oh. Season four, episode two. Uh-oh. Another episode. Columbus. This is in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, these are not. They don't match for some reason. This is a lot of the older shows that you get on this. They don't match the actual episode. They mm. are. I was gonna say. So dude. I'd have to hear it to see at the beginning. Oh, holy. <laughs> holy, Toledo. <laughs> holy Toledo. Anyway, <laughs> all right. So fast food because I got some fast. Food. We can we can air a whole episode out about fast food. Fuck the yeah, eclipse, dude. dog. Yeah. Fuck the eclipse. Fuck. Uh, Taco Bell. Ooh. I seen a seven dollar like cantina burrito that was this big. Listen, man, we got Taco Bell the other day, and the whole total was like thirty five bucks for four people, but we each only got like one thing. And my burrito was like, right. I'm pulling up the menu. We're going to grab some menus, dude. <laughs> my burrito was like ninety percent bread. Like there was okay. one shit inside. What of it. kind of burrito did you get? Oh man. Um Chicken enchilada, I think, or something like that. Chicken enchilada yeah, burrito. Yeah, and it should be full, packed yeah. full, dude. Yeah. Cho- it's fake meat. Like, yeah. it's free meat. It's horse they just meat. fold that bitch in half like 24 times. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if I worked there, 
if I it's not popped up yet. I'm trying to get the prices because I I got some things to talk because we I don't know if they'll are, show the prices on the oh yeah there we go dude does yeah. it yeah oh it does okay so let me okay let me you could use to be able to get like five tacos for like four dollars at Taco Bell right oh shit I'm in oh, the wrong. Oh. wrong one we're good all right let's go um. Where is it? The look. Even a soft taco is almost two dollars now. Just a soft taco, almost two dollars. That's just um, and they, they put this much meat. They yeah. put where's the? I can't see the camera. They put this much. Seriously, they're like, uh, all right, here's the taco shell. They're like, let me just line a little, even less than this to compare it. I can't even. Where's the thimble? They probably where's pre-portioned that shit too. Just like this much, meat, just a little bit of meat, <laughs> one bite. Yeah, it's in a squeeze tube, and they couldn't hook you up with. I'd hook up double. Yeah, uh, yeah uh, fuck right? the corporations, bro. Who's gonna know? What, what? Let's go through here. Hold on. Where was the? What was the thing you could use to go like uh, in high school and stuff? You would roll through and just order like twelve cr- crunch r- or twelve uh, um, hard shell taco. Just give me all the hard shell tacos. Give me a couple crunch wrap supremes. Give me some uh, nachos bel grande. And that was five dollars. Yeah, that and a was... Baja Blast. So you just pour your store bought vodka in it. <laughs> <laughs> your grocery store bought vodka in it. Yeah, they can't. If you order four things to Taco Bell now, the spicy potato uh, soft taco is pretty good if you like a lot of fucking carbs. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be? Oh, what's, car- the, what's the cheapest thing we have? Potatoes. All right, we'll uh, throw that. Oh, the crunchy taco is one seventy nine. The spicy potato. Is a potato with a wrapping of more carbs and some lettuce and cheese, which you know they're probably going to be filled. <laughs> oh, what was that? That's just bla- that? that's just that black bean. There's black beans in there, and there's four or five. Oh, J- somebody's calling me, JC. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys filming that? You put him on the pod, dude. He won't get on it. No, dude, it would take too much time for me to talk him into doing it right now and setting it up than it would for dude i've talked him into it a million times i've tried anyway oh i'll take the black bean chalupa supreme for 479 look at this it's fucking that's only beans i could Just buy a, bean a whole ass can of black beans for a dollar fifty <laughs> tortillas are probably a dollar fifty oh man but i'll put them together myself it's fine dude this is a damn shame dude we're all, um kfc Dude, KFC, one time I ordered the hot wings. I think I told this story, and they gave me three regular wings <laughs> and three of those hot wings that were double fried probably 15 times. I'm talking these things were cri- like rocks, and if you bit, <laughs> oil just drizzled out of rock. It's like it was it was bad. I was salté. Oil rocks. So whatever the Beverly Hillbillies, he found these oil rocks. <laughs> Dude, like McDonald's is one of the last of the – the Mohicans with like quality, but it's even it's that's just, expensive though. It's you expensive get app, and it's though. paper made. You get the app, you yeah, get twenty percent off a day. You have to. You get what? Like if you, it's gotta yeah, be, it's you, gotta be like mobile people, order though. People do w- really well with the app, but you gotta eat a lot of McDonald's, right? Yeah, yeah I mean, kind oh, of. That's how they get you every day. They, you get twenty percent off if you order mobile though. Like if you're just like on the go and just want to go through a drive through, you don't get that twenty percent. You just gotta. So if you order mobile, but you can go pick it up. Yeah. Yeah. Well then, that would ain't bad. But even for some reason, when you go pick it up, it's not still it's not, not ready. Not ready, yeah. You gotta, they not, wait till you get there and well, start making it. People like my son are the ones getting it to you, so <laughs> <laughs> don't expect it any urgency. Like I don't even get mad anymore because yeah. I'm like, this nigga's working here, then everybody's. As working. soon as I get to the drive-through window, I'm like, you mean to pull the next window, right? Yeah. <laughs> like you I already know. Just, can I just? I'll just go. Can I go to the store real yeah. quick and come back? I already know what's gonna happen. I'm here. Uh, <laughs> what's that place downtown? Do I shit on every? I've been, I've had I got food poisoning from. Uh, the Mexican restaurant. Uh, Those rapi, dude. And then they got busted uh, by the food people. Oh, after shit, like dude. recently, and they've been so around they, forever. They went around to the, all the restaurants. Both of the Mexican restaurants got sh- like basically called out for a, everything by the by the actual uh, on. It was on the computer or on uh, the internet. Everything. You always wonder why in Mexican restaurants the food comes out so fast. That's why because it's just. I remember my first date with my wife, dude. I got the. Uh, I always get the fajitas because they're sizzling, yeah. so I know they're getting cooked and they're burning. They're burning all the bacteria, whatever. Because I, dude, just put in your mind frame who the fuck. Don't be racist. Don't be weird. Who the fuck is working back there? Think about it. Do you think they give a shit about the quality? Do I went you to, think they give a shit about the quality of that food that's coming out to you? When I, dude, when I went to when I worked at a um, Coca Cola, we delivered to some Mexican restaurants, and I'm not gonna. 
say the name of it, but we delivered to the back of one, and they had the <laughs> fucking they had the uh, um, big ass like pot of salsa that they were like getting like chips and salsa out of, like just sitting on the ground by the uh, by the floor drains. <laughs> Dude, oh, dog. I was like, they're swinging, oh, bro. Last time I go to this place, <laughs> dude, I can't. It's not you. Can, you got to be very careful. Yeah, it's and even, I mean, I you, you. I mean, you can ask. This is straight up serious. You can ask anybody in my family. I do not eat out. Like I just, I'll just be like, nope. Unless it's a fast food where they shit drop shit in the oil. Yeah. Like I said, McDonald's is safe because McDonald's has a standard. Right, right. Um, That's what what's his name? Uh, Usain Bolt. When he, he said, he basically said, no matter what country he's like racing in, he he just get McDonald's because it's consistent. It like, has to have a standard. Yeah, it's the same they, place, same everywhere you go. Because like, just if it doesn't, they'll just replace whoever owns it. Yeah. Because they don't want their their image to right, right tarnish. It's expensive. Yeah, it is very. But my son gets that half off, baby. Yeah. If you, at least you know for what you're getting if you're buying it. I mean, you get that cardboard taste and meat. <laughs> so, some Just, of it's not horrible, but it's. Yeah. I remember the sausage sandwich used to be. So but them fries are still so good, so, dude. Oh, dude those How? Fries. How do they do it, man? Steph Curry from the paint boy. <laughs> How do they keep it with the fries? Time, like, <laughs> they even not change a thing about the fries. Dude, Everything else has gotten a little thinner and smaller. The fries, fries are still just. <laughs> and people are like, "Oh, the fries are uh, genetically modified." Well, <laughs> they keep. I've been eating them this long, and I'm. I'm, there's this place in uh, Toledo called Super Chicks. Have you ever heard of it or been there? Mm-mm. So it's like fried chicken sandwiches, but they like make them different ways or whatever. I've, you, heard, I've heard of that. But like, so we went there with my parents a couple weeks ago, and uh, we got uh, two sh- like four chicken sandwiches and two large fries. When I tell you the both bags were no joke, like three quarters of the way filled up with fries, like just like an insane amount of fries. Yeah. It was ridiculous i mean Potatoes it was like a cheap dog it was like eight bucks but it was like i mean it was worth it <laughs> they're like they're like we're gonna well, give you all yeah it, it is pretty good that place is pretty good i'm not gonna lie i mean compared but you're paying the same price as chick-fil-a for it so i mean why not Chick-fil-A. yeah <laughs> what do you think about uh five guys overrated as fucking yeah nasty. super overrated yeah um, and it's ne- expensive too the next time we go out we're going to uh what's that chicken tenders uh raising canes Okay, hell, what is it called? Raisin Raisin Cane. Canes. That yeah, one's uh, that place is overrated too, I think. Oh, dude, just just Walmart chicken tenders, bro. Yeah, and, and the only people there's they just opened one in Finley, and everybody at work's like waiting in. Not everybody at work, but they were talking about people were waiting in line. Yeah, um, people were waiting in line in the morning, in the cold, in the cold wind. Everything in there's always For soggy as fuck. All the fries are always soggy. And then when's the, the last time you had it? Uh, so they opened one in Perrysburg where I work. So. It's probably been three months now, but I didn't go back because the only thing good about the place is the sauce. Like the sauce is amazing, but you can make like that at home if you, sauce, if you can figure right? out how to make it. You can make it at home, but they forgot to give me my sauce, so I got to back to their office to eat, and <laughs> <laughs> so now I got just dr- like soggy ass chicken fingers, soggy ass fries, no sauce. That chicken is shit. But anyway, it that's is. the next place we're eating now. Like we don't have a discuss like because you know you that. What do you want for dinner? Uh, let's just eat out. Tw- you know, three hours later, where do you want to go? I yeah. Don't know, where do you want? And then you're just like, fuck it. I don't even want to eat no more. And you're like, fuck <laughs> it. I hate you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but uh, I was like, it's that place because I got to make sure that I tasted what I tasted last time. Yeah. It tasted like just regular. It wasn't bad. It's just right. regular chicken tenders. Yeah. They're not really a whole lot of flavor to them. No. Um, uh, honestly, I can't really think of any good chicken tenders anymore. I haven't had Lee's. In a long time. Yeah, there's not one. There's, the there's closest one, the Finley, Finley, right? That's the yeah. closest one. And I haven't had uh, KFC's chicken tenders aren't bad, but KFC's it's the workforce at this point that they don't. I mean, what are they making? Thirteen dollars an hour. So they're probably not. Yeah. I know the Burger King closest to my house is thirteen dollars an hour hiring because yeah. that's what they said. And my, I think my son makes. Fifteen or seven, he might make seventeen dollars an hour, man. Yeah, oh, Mickey D's will pay you. Yeah, Walmart, pay you. you know the staples. Walmart, Mickey D's will pay, will yeah. pay you. They're gonna, I'll give them that. Your, Walmart will work your ass off, but you'll you pay you. <laughs> well, I don't know. Might might have, might have changed now. My sister used to work I there. I worked for Walmart, and he'd be taking it easy. <laughs> he'd be chilling. But we know how to do that. Like you know, that's the first thing I want to do. Well, wait, you work in Lima at Walmart? Him? Yeah, yeah. My sister worked in Cincinnati. Maybe the one in Cincinnati is just trash. He's worked at Walmart's for, like, way back in the day he worked at Walmart. Then he worked a bunch of other places, had his own business, and then now he. Mm-hmm. But he just learned, like, I'm just good with what I got at this point. Like, I fucking. Yeah. 
that's the main thing you got to learn sometimes, dude. That's what I learned one time. You just you Yeah, I've worked a lot of jobs and, and they all all jobs kind of suck. Like no like nobody's really happy where they work. What's the coolest job you had? Coolest job I had. Or like I think the job I have now is the coolest and most uh rewarding cuz I can I can um affect I can positively affect somebody um somebody like in I don't know, that's fucking gay. Anyway, continue. <laughs> no, Go ahead. No, please. I was really feeling it for a second. Yeah, I was like, uh, yeah. I was, all right. <laughs> I'm not gay. I'm not talking like that. That's not gay to talk to have some passion, dude. There you go. Passion is super gay. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> passion is one of the gayest things you could do. Be passionate about anything, dude. <laughs> Anybody who's passionate fucking gay. Dude, it just annoys me. <laughs> what are you so passionate about? Um, but yeah. No, I I think my job now is chill, so I'm yeah. cool with it. I mean it's not an hourly job. That's why my job now is not bad. It's just gets it's kind of stressful sometimes on right. all the bullshit. But I did like working. You can't there. let that stuff bother you, man. No, I don't. I learned to let it go. It's not the end of the world. Let it go. Um, I uh, but I, when I worked in that pipe yard, that was kind of fun. Where I just drive around a forklift all day and just pick up like. Was you certified forklift? I mean, by the company. I don't know if I don't know if Do there's you still extra- hold that certification. I, don't, I, I don't think know. it lasts for after that. You can go to another job. Yeah, I don't know if there's actually a forklift know. certification. Like, oh, I have my certification real card. Well, but yeah, but like, what does that mean? Wherever I go, I could I could go to a factory right now tonight and be like, "Excuse me, I need this," <laughs> and then come into your forklift if I needed it. Yeah, you know, I used to be so scared though because I would have to uh, drive these trucks. Like, we should change our name to the Forklift Boys. Oh, dang it, forklift. First ep- episode number one, Four Live Boys Podcast. <laughs> it's a brand new, it's a brand koozies, new podcast. Got to throw boy. these koozies away. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All the work. <laughs> um, but I remember one time I was, uh, <laughs> so I used to have to go out with a pipe and like deliver it to job sites, and they had this thing called a Moffat. And, like, Wait, you was a pipe boy? I'm a pipe boy, dude. What was you doing? Just like. So we worked at this waterworks company and like we literally what you what's with the dude time out. You worked at Waterworks. Yeah, it was I can't I don't want to say the name of the company, but like we uh we would was Kevin Costner working there? Waterworld. <laughs> no, you just had that final vote, dude. Um, <laughs> just vote deep. No, I'm talking about did you ever see him in Waterworld? <laughs> Floating around on that raft. I worked for Waterworld and the Waterworld, uh, Waterworld, Waterworld, Waterworld. <laughs> theme park based fast. on the movie Waterworld. <laughs> what a burger! Waterworld. <laughs> no, we had it's to payball. <laughs> I had to deliver pipe to like job sites and stuff, and they had this thing called the Moffat, and it was like this forklift that was on the back of the truck, but it was like the steering was all like a wonky dude, like it was hard, so hard to control. Most things are. And uh, <laughs> I remember I was like, this this pipe was like. 18 inch pipe, so it was fucking huge. Like it was gigantic. Dude, you were like Johnny Hamcheck, dude, delivering 18 inch pipes. <laughs> you don't know. I don't know if you know that. Is that a porn star or something? <laughs> no, it's a. It's like a guy who does these pranks. And he calls himself Johnny Hamcheck. And he oh. delivers pipe everywhere. Okay. Long story short, but <laughs> I don't do it any justice. Okay. <laughs> it's way funnier but if he does it. <laughs> But I, I was like trying to drop off this pipe because there's nobody at the job site. So I was like lifting it with this thing. And I had it up in the air because the, the trucks had. Wait, bumped. where were you driving? It was like a this big forklift. Well, not big forklift. Was you driving the forklift? Yeah. And you were lifting the pipes. Yeah. Yeah. Were you, was the guys roasting you? Like, look at this. No, he, there was nobody there. I was just being by myself. <laughs> but like, I was doing it on the on the street, and this was, like one of my first times using this fucking forklift thing, and I lifted it up over the top, <laughs> and this thing starts wobbling. And I'm like, oh shit, oh shit. And it just falls and shatters. There's like a billion pieces, dude. This fucking pipe. So I'm like in the middle of in the street, yeah. <laughs> like street of what? Where? <laughs> like on the country. But I'm like Toledo how, or uh, like a, it's like um country of Toledo. I don't even know what area it was like Monclova maybe or something. Oh, but Monclova. um, I was out there like in the middle of the road, just picking up this piece of pipe with my hand, like trying to figure out what the fuck to do with things. <laughs> I just never to throw it away. Eh? He's having a moment. <laughs> Like, it was freezing outside. <laughs> Dude, I would have left that shit to quit. <laughs> I'd be like, I'm done. But this is a huge ass pipe, and so I get back to the uh, shop, and I'm like, Hey, like, we're we got to give him another piece of pipe because like I dropped it on the ground. Big deal, I dropped it. <laughs> He's like going through because you have to comp it out. Like, yeah, it's probably millions of dollars. <laughs> it's like an eleven hundred dollar piece of pipe. <laughs> I was like, Oh fuck! <laughs> Why they send you out there by yourself? I, I don't know. <laughs> So did you drive? Dude, there was like three people worked did there. You, did there. you drive on the site on the forklift? 
No, no. So, so well, I mean, you mean at the shop? How'd you get the pipe to that area? So I had to drive the flat by a truck. Like I had my CDL, so I was so driving. You had a forklift on the back of the truck. It's called a Moffat, so it's like it's like got three wheels. <laughs> Keep talking. It's like got three wheels. Moffat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, not my not, not my feet. <laughs> M O F F A T, I think. <laughs> a PT. Is that the Lion King? The monkey from the Lion King? <laughs> a PT. A PT. <laughs> uh, just like we're Moffat, uh, I don't know. What the, it was like a forklift Moffet thing. Tunnel. <laughs> uh, where do you live? I live in a Moffat tunnel. <laughs> forklift. <laughs> There you go, my fork, my fork. With that. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what it looks like. It's this one right here. Oh, let me pull this up. <laughs> be seat. <laughs> that one right there, the far right. Yeah, this is that thing, dude. Do you use whipping the muffet? Luke's got three wheels, and that back wheel can like go side to side. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking tricycle. And, but if, but like it's not as strong as a regular forklift. So if you lifted up too much pipe, then you would tilt forward and you'd just be oh, stuck no on your shit, dude, in front of your forks. Hold on, five forklifts. <laughs> Are you certified or not? <laughs> Damn, dude, that Moffat is sitting higher than a Tesla. But it, like dude. you have to like, <laughs> so you have to uh, the driver, the other driver we had, like who would, he would call off all the time. He and fell off of the Moffat. No, he used to call off all the time. Call off. And uh, he would. So I would have to do these runs, and uh, he would. He'd get, he was so protective of his truck, he'd get so pissed because I would fuck it up all the time. Ooh. And uh, so the Moffitt, like there's like two little holes in the back uh, of the truck that you have to put these forks as a oh, Moffitt. Hold on, let me pull it back up. Exp- here, I'll use the mouse to explain. Go ahead. Okay, so those little forks in the front of the truck. Oh, uh, okay, the Moffitt. So <laughs> you had to line those up with these holes in the front, in the back of the truck. And like, so you had to, you had to put, put like lift the forks up enough to get them in the holes. And then you had to lift yourself up using the forks, like, so you'd be up in the air on this fucking moth on the back of the truck, like just dangling there and lock it in place and shit. But I would fuck it up all the Where time. Where were you dangling from the back? So I would be in the back seat right here. And oh, wait, it's a two man job. <laughs> <laughs> wait, it's a two man job. Honestly, probably there's probably safety violations going on all the time. How many men do you have on one moffin? <laughs> just one, just one moffin. Just one man per moffin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so, but there's is it a two seater? No, it's just a one seater. <laughs> a one seater. Do they make two seater Moffats? I don't think so. So, but I'm saying, so you drove the truck. Was the Moffat attached to the truck? Yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what I was just telling you, dude. <laughs> you, had to, you had to hook the Moffat up to the back of the truck, but you had to do it like while you're in the Moffat. So you just like drive the Moffat into the truck, then lift yourself up with the Moffat. So you're just like up in the air on the by back. yourself, just no holding help? down by the forks, and that's it. Like just scary, it scared. That doesn't sound like you're supposed to do it that way. Dude, that's how I'm telling There's you, man. No do you see? If you see like any like I've been around forklifts a lot, basically my whole life. If you live in Ohio in this area, <laughs> you've been around forklifts your entire. You don't even know it. There's been forklifts. In school. <laughs> you're never more than five people in before. <laughs> <laughs> like spiders, dude. You're just they're always around. Everywhere you go, you're beep, beep. whether you know it or not. You've been around forklifts. All your life. <laughs> Seriously, I notice. Think, I think you about notice. It, like you go to the store. There's a forklift somewhere. You go to all these. There's a pallet jack Thanks which is that. considered a forklift. <laughs> In some area, <laughs> you said like you said like they were like hidden. Like, <laughs> <laughs> whether you know it or not, you've been around forklifts all your life. <laughs> it is true. Oh shit, <laughs> dude, Native American. Damn, dude. <laughs> People, Look dude. at uh, what's that movie? Uh, <laughs> I always imagine what your like, what episode is this? So I can put this on here. I always imagine what your life would get to to this point where, dude, I will not remember any of these. One was Columbus and Atlanta. Remember that Columbus Do you think that guy's real Native American? No, fuck no, dude. He's an idiot. He lives in his apartment. He's trying to bang that lady. <laughs> they could be married, you know. Could be no, could be a uh married to the mob, mafia. What's that movie you, you again the uh Leonardo DiCaprio uh, Moon <laughs> Oh, Moon Sun, F- Killers of the Flower Moon. Yeah, Moonlight. Dude, I, I rewatched <laughs> that the other day. Uh I made my old lady watch it with me. Dang, dude, dang. if you can get a whole movie in with your woman, dang, dude. Look at this dude. Up there, we're getting porn reels. Oh, God. Ooh. That's Vito from Ban- <laughs> Leave Behind Band. <Bam. laughs> <Dude, laughs> Uncle Vito. Throw this whole episode. Dude, do you remember that other episode? 
what it was? Colum- it was Columbus. Oh, Columbus, yeah. And then Atlanta. Yeah. All right. Although that did not look like Columbus. At least not the Columbus. No, that but I as, all I, as long as I have that, I can just type in Columbus oh, of yeah. this show. And I can put it on here. You watch it, what if you just get caught a little in that? little behind the scenes action, a little greasy, sleazy behind the scenes you action. just get caught, caught, caught in that film thing. Just <laughs> <laughs> Killed, <laughs> but the movie still plays. It skips a, just a little bit, and the, he looks kind of like John Denver or uh, Fat John Denver. No, the guy that sings "Heart of Gold." Heart of Gold. The dude who take had his movie taken off Spotify. Or his music. Neil Neil Young. Neil Young. He looks like a no, fat Neil man. Diamond. No Neil Young. You're, Neil Diamond. Oh, damn, there's a lot of Neils. <laughs> Neil Nandy. <laughs> Neil Nandy. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, uh, he was a shoddy dude. Neil Nandy. Yeah. He, oh my God. Dude, I could tell the tales of Neil Nandy. <laughs> here, oh, uh, he might have been. A, I don't know if Neil Nandy was suspect. Like, who the fuck is Neil Nandy? He's saying uh, like I know who he is. He would walk down the street. <laughs> no, he couldn't drive anything. He he was a grown adult, but he lived with his mom. He would walk down the streets, and he was a. Uh, he would talk to himself and stuff, and like, but he would be everywhere everybody was when we was in high school. But he was obviously not in high; like, he was, was way he like older, mentally challenged. Yeah, and he was just like, I could, can't remember his sayings now, but he would have sayings like every time you see him, like you'd drive down the street, you'd be like, Neil Nende, <laughs> like, 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 like roll out the windows, and he'd be like, huh, like yell back, and like you'd see him at the fair, you'd see him everywhere. You'd get like the high schoolers at my time, yeah, would that group of that year. He would just always. Everybody knew Neil. Neil Nandy, name, dude. Because he he lived in the neighborhood we all lived in, but he would also be around the school, go to things, and he would just be walking down the street and be like, "What up, Neil Nandy?" <laughs> Did he like call himself that? I don't know what he called himself. <laughs> <laughs> I have no clue. Did you know his last name? No, I'm that was his full name. He was. Nandy. All right. Hmm. I'm on, I haven't watched the newest episode yet, but dude, that show is fucking. How hard is it to start restart after you take a piss or go get something to restart a podcast? It's one of the hardest things you can do because you're right in the middle of a thought. Let's yeah. dig deep into that. Okay. All right. I, yeah. I mean, I got a small just, bladder, dude, so I, feel I like was just joking, dude. <laughs> I was just joking. We're not digging into that. Let's get to that samurai show. <laughs> so. Are you one of those people that can't like watch a show with subtitles? Like, no, I can. Okay, I can. I can. I hate people like. There's mostly subtitles. Dude, I can't I watch. Tell you what? I watched uh, smoking a quarter pound of weed. Watched uh, Passion of the Christ full subtitles with somebody reading them out loud the whole time. Wait, somebody like next to you or like? Uh, somebody had to read them to somebody else that was in the room, and we were just watching it, and that's just how it had to be because that person could not ca- keep up. <laughs> and so I would have, and then I would just, I would already know what was going on, but I would have to listen the whole time. Have you seen Passion of the Christ more than once? I think, yeah, probably. But I mean, it came out years and years ago. I've seen. Yeah, a lot you see, they're making a sequel. No, it has a sequel. It's, there's making one. Mel, so, Mel Gibby's making another one. Mel Gibby's insane. Um, <laughs> so the uh, what's that movie? That Shogun show. Yeah. Only first episode in, so mm-hmm. don't give me too much. Little confusing. Because of the subtitle, like yeah. whose family? What's the beef? What's right. the problem between the families? Right. But the thing that really compels me is why are, does everybody have to shave the middle of their hair? <laughs> I was wondering that too. And, I except the older guys have the hair. <laughs> They're like, you guys like to demasculate them. They're like, listen, you guys shave your guys' cap, and we'll keep ours. And then once you guys get older, you can grow yours. But it would grow unevenly. I always felt like it would grow very – I can't – I couldn't <laughs> see past that. We want you to grow a – Because I was like, well, why does he have full hair and he doesn't – the younger one doesn't? <laughs> I thought maybe they were just balding on top and they just like – But it was that everybody. Cut. Yeah. Yeah, it was every, and it was a precise cut. Yeah. And some of them you could tell it was still like growing a little bit, so they had to recut it. Yeah. Imagine being cast into that and I was like – they're like, you got to shave. Oh, yeah, uh, by the way uh, – Grow your hair off for like Wait, six the months. samurais had full heads of hair. No, they didn't. They were <laughs> fucking like, no. But no, it was a good show. It's it, I'm only on the first episode, so nothing's tied in yet. Right. But no, you're deep in, aren't you? It gets pretty good, yeah. How far? You're uh, are you caught up? I think there, four another episode came out this week that I haven't watched yet. Okay. But I have to wait till I get on the on the uh, the nice TV to watch it because it's got such beauty, so beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I watched it down here solo too. Yeah. Solo because this, you know, she, they're not gonna. She's not gonna understand. 
Um, <laughs> she don't understand. <laughs> no, but yeah, it was wild. There was a lot of wild things going on there. That time, I always think, dude, imagine living in those times, and before that, and before that, and after that, how shitty. So what we're doing now, none of this, one, none of this, nothing here would be possible to do. Right. Not even close. Um, you're bored. You have 50,000. We've done, we've covered this a million times, 50,000. Yeah. Back then, like, they were boiling dudes in pots of water. Oh, yeah, that shit was wild, dude. Wild. I didn't think it would be that bad until I realized they threw them in before it started boiling, so it would just boil you all the way like you were a chicken or a... Right. But was that you- a metaphor for not being vegan? <laughs> I th- it was b- I think it's based off a book. I don't think they're we were talking about vegans back then. Mm. But I think <laughs> that's a good way to look at it, though. They do wear a snake scarf. Um, but uh, also, but back, I look, back in the day, though, like if you were a guest at somebody's house, they just send over a prostitute for you. Just like wait, where? Oh, oh yeah, that yeah yeah. This been multiple times this happens in the show. So yeah. I know that was a little. That's where I draw the line. I like to see that stuff in television. <laughs> no sex for me. No I love sex it, for dude. Me, dude. No sex for me. Rock solid. I was. Ooh, dude, what a job that is. But, and then you know, after this, he's gonna go like wakeboarding or something. <laughs> Isn't he sober now or something? Yeah. Well, I mean, everybody. You know, yeah, almost that's all. The, that's the new popular thing is being sober. Yeah. Not for hey. us, dude. We're still, we're still. A the new popular thing is being a loser because <laughs> hey. I like being turned up. Yeah, I know that's right. Seven. Why wouldn't you want to be turned up? Like what? I, I guess if you have a real problem, like you have cirrhosis and you like going to the hospital, con- like people would be drinking and going to the hospital constantly. Like if I go to the hospital once for drinking, I'm not drinking anymore. Like I'll, yeah. I'll, I guess if I was like just drinking liquor straight out the bottle too, that's where you're kind of like. By oh your, yeah, and if like you're, you were sitting by yourself just chugging a bottle of like vodka or something. Yeah, when you're buying that plastic bottle of vodka, you're in <laughs> on trouble. A date, like, yeah, like, like, <laughs> like the second time you go, you're like, wait. Yeah. Whoa. If you uh, <laughs> and you don't have no chaser or nothing, you're just buying that bottle, just drinking it. Like, when I was a bartender, dude, like woo, dude. people, people would uh, like, oh, like are those your regulars? I'm like. Yeah, no, motherfucker. Those are alcoholics. Like, <laughs> if you're in there every day, like, you might we they're might call you spending tons of oh, money. Oh, they're, yeah. they're at, that was a high, a very high. Uh, yeah, we had some real, expensive. real. How much do re- you think a person would spend? Like a like a regular, like big a like money some, regular, like a drunk regular, uh, alcoholic regular. Pff, easy a week, easy a thousand bucks. Like sometimes more. That's a monthly payment. Yeah. On a house. Yeah. But it didn't matter to them. Like they just—that's all they like. They were just wanted to get drunk and hit on young girls. Were they be married? Some of them, yeah. How would they justify spending all that? Like to their maybe their wife just didn't. Maybe they made so much money it didn't matter, and their wife just had. To oh yeah, dude. That's what like, that convention I was at. Some of these like wives had like huge ass rocks in their finger. And I'm like, I bet their husbands that has such a sleaze ball. Like the whole. Oh yeah, and they when, don't care. When Kobe cheated on his wife, and she bought he bought her that fucking gigantic ass ring, right. like. I mean, could you like could you imagine being uh, well, you know what? And put it on the opposite way. Jeannie Bus is married. She's probably loaded. The owner of the Lakers. Yeah, she's loaded. So either way, imagine your significant other being just a fucking beast. Money, all this money. You're not. You're just not going to give a shit what they do. Yeah, true. You don't have anything to worry about. You have nothing to worry about. Right. Maybe you do, but if you do, it doesn't matter because they're going to come out. Um, like what Robert Kraft was getting HJs and he just bounced back like then yeah he was, shit. He was just paying into a massage parlor though they were yeah. offering it's not like he was like going dude like, if I had a zillion dollars and they were like you, you, I'd be like, you know what <laughs> I got, what else do I got to do today yeah. <laughs> he wasn't he wasn't Weinsteining that shit he yeah. was just doing it himself yeah he was like I well what I can get a happy ending out of this bitch you've been Weinsteined I'm sure them ladies at those massage parlors didn't care plus like know. look at him now huh look at him now. Who? Uh, Robert Kraft. Wishing he had a quarterback. I know, that's right. <laughs> Wishing he had Russell Wilson. Let's ride. <laughs> oh, that's a... Um, the Steelers getting Russell Wilson is actually hilarious because, like, this dude ain't been good in, like, four years, and they were like, you know what? I'm taking a chance. You never know. You never know, I guess. They got the other dude, too. Um, Justin Fields. 
I don't know. Sports are weird, but I just want to start gambling. There's a lot of people I know gamble, and they're fucking. They make it sound like they're making money. Don't they? Oh, they're. I mean, yeah. After they're done losing it, you think <laughs> nobody gambling is that much up? Like, I, I, there's. I know. That's why I say I'm like, there's no way you, they're always like, oh, I won this much money, four hundred dollars, three hundred dollars. That's why they're still gambling. If they, I mean, if they won that much money, they say they're won, and they wouldn't still be gambling. Well, I don't know. It could be. Yeah. You could be addicted to it. Like, how much money is too much money? It's easy. Like I didn't. I did, I did it a few times, and I was like, I'm not into this. Yeah. At all. No, I. I, I too, during the football season, I'll do like ten bucks a week, and like just kind of. Yeah, like, that's if you can have like a limit to it, just mm-hmm. to have fun. Yeah. And maybe you know get lucky, but yeah, some people are just constantly doing it, trying to chase that next win. Yeah, me and my wife share a bank account too, so it's like you know. Yeah, we, you can't do that. <laughs> yeah, basically, my only outside budget is brew. Ayo, ayo. I'm like, as, as long as that's, I don't spend no other money, boy. Don't cut into my brew budget. <laughs> <laughs> don't cut into my brew budget. You got no no, no hustle for me. <laughs> don't cut into my brew budget. <laughs> that was good. Uh, you got any uh, videos for us this week, dude? Video of the week? <laughs> Somebody driving on one of these fucking, uh, what is it called? Moffat, dude. I wish, what if they had a video of me on this YouTube? This website's called like, one, two, three. Forklift.com. <laughs> <laughs> Forklifts are expensive as fuck, dude. Yeah, dude. Forklifts are sw- sick, dude. Imagine if we drove forklifts around town <laughs> instead of cars, and you could just <laughs> easily lift what Like, instead of buying one thing, we would just buy a pallet. Buy a pallet. Like, oh, I brought my forklift. I can get two pallets. That would be kind of nice to have around, yeah. dude. You could get, you could go to a Costco, and they would just load up your pallet instead of taking a car. That's what we do. Dude, hold up. Hold up. But but at Costco though that you can do that because, uh, like they have forklifts there. So if you have a way to unload it, like we get cases of water or uh, pallets of water at work all the time. Just like they drop it off. No, but we had to go get it. But like we can, we can unload it and get get it back because we have a forklift. But yeah, but I'm saying you guys got the truck. Okay, if you yeah. had a forklift, you could go get all your groceries. They could palletize it for you. You just drive the forklift all the way and home? And then you drive the forklift home. It'll go 45 <laughs> miles, to 55 miles per hour. You got to change that propane tank so often. <laughs> no, you can get electric ones, too. We got yeah, electric either ones. way, that's still going to charge it. You don't have that much Put of a charge. Put it in an engine just like you got in a car. All right, fair. <laughs> Dude, could you imagine just getting that quick pallet and heading back home? We used to have this heavy duty forklift <laughs> the job I was at, dude. Like, that shit, you can, like, Dude, I love forklift. Widen dog. the forks and stuff like, on the thing, and it was like, it could lift, like, fucking uh, some insane amount of weight. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing, dude. <laughs> That's only getting, the forklift technology is only getting better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, the, the sky is the limit when it comes to forklift technology. <laughs> no, I don't have any videos, man. Oh, wow. Well, okay, well. We should rewatch our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> react, Batman boys react to Batman boys. <laughs> Forklift boys react to Batman boys. 